Hi, my name's Nathan, and welcome to this reflective presentation on my first year of FDA Visual Arts at New College Durham. I've participated in quite a lot here, and learned many new things I would never have thought about previously. For example, in my module Contextual Influences, my focus was learning and understanding prior art movements and making connections as to how they influence contemporary art. To prove that focus, I wrote a comparative essay about these two expressionist artworks. My essay just emphasised how I felt the expressionism movement in the past has influenced new expressionism and contemporary art today, talking about the typical traits and purpose of the movement. I also created a visual response to the essay, proving the direct influence of the prior art movement. These are the final outcomes I made. I really enjoyed being introduced to this topic. It allowed for me to work outside of my comfort zone and explore so many mediums I hadn't worked with previously. I'm very happy with my final outcomes, as I think they both show the accumulation of what I was taught during the module, and it was fun just making something different to what I usually do. I'm very excited to continue exploring what I learned here in the future. Another thing I took part in was workshops, which is basically just a lecture on how to do something specific. I learned about spray painting, using charcoal, acrylic painting, oil pastels and more. These were essential in helping me unlock more creative skills and honestly I'd never really used any traditional mediums before this. Throughout the module work related learning I had the opportunity to complete live briefs such as children's book illustrations, an iconic landmark illustration in my local area which was honestly pretty difficult for me because I kind of find landmarks boring but I still try my best to produce a range of outcomes. This was a pretty fun module. Learning while I quote unquote worked, it helped me develop skills for working with clients, which will probably be something I do more in the future, if I decide to do freelance work or working for a company. The next module was personal studio practice, which was probably my favourite so far. I was given many choices of themes which were similar to receiving a brief, but it was very open to any ideas as long as I could justify the choices I made. I chose the theme composition, as I thought it would be the most interesting to play around with. I wrote a proposal talking about what I planned to do, even showcasing some objectives to help track my progress and make sure I knew what I was meant to be doing. I actually rewrote my proposal a few times after gathering some research, and this is because I found out about abstract expressionism. I really loved the idea of creating an abstract piece of art, and became even more interested in pairing it with surrealist automatism, which is something I was introduced to in a workshop. My idea was to create a piece of art that had no intention with an all-over composition. To me, this fit the theme really well and allowed me to create literally anything without thinking about what I was creating. I focused more on the process than the art, just trying to have fun with exploring mediums. In the end, I ended up making 9 different paintings before making a final outcome. This was my experimentation stage and it was a lot of fun. Some paintings I used a brush attached to a string to create lines, some paintings I let the snow interact with the water paint and some paintings I used every medium I had at my disposal. All of these experiments led to my final outcome, and I'm really happy with it. I created all of these on canvas, which is something I'd never done before, but my final outcome was done on a 50 by 60 centimeter canvas, which was pretty big. I had a lot of fun working on this project. It truly changed my perspective on what art can be, and has allowed me to discover a new, interesting method of art making. It was also really fun just choosing what I get to work on, instead of being told what to do. But I love learning new things, so I wouldn't have been opposed to a bit more direction. Overall, it's been a pretty interesting year for me. I enjoyed the content of the course, and learned some pretty valuable skills that I can probably use in my digital illustration and animation. To reiterate, I took part in a lot of workshops, learning new mediums, I even had the chance to visit art galleries and museums. Here's some pictures I took at the Leeds Art Gallery. I never knew paintings could be so massive. And I was even introduced to exhibitions and installation art, which was pretty interesting. I've had a lot of fun, and I really look forward to learning more. Thanks for watching.